Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the new Diamond Jamal Crawford. I'm super excited to do gameplay with Jamal Crawford. He's one of my favorite players of the 2000s and the 2010s. I loved watching him play for New York, for the Clippers, for the Hawks. Um, really enjoyed watching him play in general in the NBA. He was one of the more exciting and more fun to watch players in the league. Um, and I'm really excited to use him in 2K and see if 2K has managed to replicate how exciting and how great of a dribbler and creator he really was. Um, before we wrap into this video, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 3,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I'm uploading every single day. I would really appreciate your support if you haven't already, if you do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it and see what Jay Crossover is looking like. So, Jamal Crawford, 6'5". He can play the point guard position. I would recommend playing him at the point guard position. I think that will be his better position. And 6'5 at the point guard position is actually really good height. It's 96 offense, 85 defense. Also comes with the 92 driving layup, uh, 92 draw foul, 94 close shot, 92 midi, 88 three pointer, 75 driving dunk, so we can throw it down, which is nice. 97 ball handle, uh, 82 steal, 85 perimeter isn't incredible, but it's not bad. And a 70 block is actually really good for a point guard. We'll take that. He will be able to get some blocks. Solid rebounder for a point guard as well. Not great, but 91 speed, 91 speed with ball, 91 excel is really solid. And then 84 lateral quickness is not bad as well. Defensively, he's mediocre, but offensively, he looks great. 80 driving dunk tendency is super solid as well. Uh, and then defensive tendencies, he's got a 60 pass interception. Not the best defensive tendencies. This card is not going to be an elite defender, but I think he may be able to hold it down defensively with decent size, especially for a point guard, and then be an elite offensive card. Six Hoffs, which include Ankle Breaker, Hyperdrive, Quick Chain, Quick First Step, Space Crater, and Triple Threat Juke. The Quick First Step, Quick Chain, and Hyperdrive, as well as Ankle Breaker, those four Hall of Fame badges together could really combo into some nasty moves, nasty ability to create shots, as well as 30 golds, which include Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, Acrobat, Fearless Finisher, uh, Glue Hands, Pick Dodger, Lucky Number 7, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, Slithery, Downhill Handles for Days, Stop Stop and go tight handles, unpluckable clutch shooter, stop and pop green machine, hot hunter, unstrippable bullet passer, volume shooter, slippery off ball, and fast switch, and then bailout and dead eye on silver. Now, definitely gonna want to add some badges to this card if you're gonna use them. Badges that I do recommend adding, maybe a dimer, definitely clamps and interceptor. Those two I would 100% recommend. Potentially another couple of defensive badges as well, like an intimidator or a pogo stick, as well as limitless spot up and sniper. Those two, those four, um, uh, clamps, Interceptor, Limitless, Spot Up, and Sniper. He needs those four badges. That fifth badge, you could add another defensive badge, like an Ankle Braces, or a Pogo Stick, or a Rim Protector, or something along those lines as well. But overall, looks like a really good card, especially on the offensive end of the court. Let's see what Jamal Crawford can do in freestyle. Think One thing, with the SIGs that he has, and his ability to, his like a, uh, badges he should move really really well the hall of fame quicker hyperdrive hall of fame quick chain hall of fame quick first step those are just going to couple together to make him a really really nice dribbling point guard his half court sigs are solid he can burst he's got the shifty dribble style so he's got the ability to burst and then he's got the trey burke base which is similar to a tracy mcgrady type of release which is super easy to green nice and quick he is going to be a knockdown offensive card especially when you add that limitless spot up that sniper those two badges especially are really going to help take him to that next level i think in terms of his ability to shoot from range create shots and three hunt and stuff like that but even right now i mean he's got the pro three behind the back as well so he's got full court dribble six with the best behind the back in the game this card is going to be a menace on the offensive end of the court and he's got decent size too six foot five is good he's got not the biggest player build in the world definitely is a skinny player build but he does look tall and i think that's going to help him on the defensive end of the court is having that size that other point guards just don't have he's going to be an incredibly fun point guard to use and honestly i think he's probably going to be right in that top five point guard range as well so i'm excited to use this card let's hop into a game and see what jamal crawford can do Checking out our opponent's squad. He's got a decent-ish team, but not a great team. Smart, Cliff Hagen, uh, Mikael Bridges, Glenn Robinson, and Pat Ewing. Jamal Crawford versus Marcus Smart should be a solid matchup, though. Let's hop into it and see what we can do. Win the tip, and let's get the ball to our PG. Jamal Crawford, go get me a bucket, baby. This card is going to be so much fun to use. I'm so excited to use him. Bruh. What are you doing? <laughs> he goes for a 360 layup first possession of the game. I'll admit, that was more a bad take by me than anything else, but that animation was crazy. He really went for a 360 layup. That is wild. Whoa, he almost went back court. He did go back court. Let's go. That's a stop. Now we got to get the ball to Jamal Crawford. See if we can potentially take a uh, slightly better shot this second possession. Uh, potentially maybe find ourselves open for a three off a screen or something um but come on go get me a bucket oh yeah oh yeah already cooked him easy green light let's go jamal crawford knocks it down that's a great start to the game let's go come on d up d up yes sir good defense whoa he greened at six percent that's a tough shot i give you props that's a nice little shot right there get it right back to jamal crawford though you're gonna have to get stops on him space the floor baby space the floor he can slash to the rim too oh yeah oh yeah Oh yeah, look at him bursting right past, getting to the rim, drawing a foul, beautiful stuff. Let's see what his free throw release looks like. I bet it's knocked down. I think he's got like a 90 something free throw rating, so it should not be a problem to knock it down at all, but let's see what that release is looking like. And yeah, super smooth, easy to green. Gonna be knocked down every single time. 
up seven to five. Let's go get another bucket. Set me a nice screen. Roll to the rim. See if we can get a three-point opportunity off the screen. I can't dribble. Come on, set. Come back. Come back. Oh yeah, cook him, Jamal. Cook him, Jamal. Hit it inside. Yes, sir. Easy layup. I would have probably had the mid-range crab too if I'd wanted to pull that. We will take our easy layup, and uh, we're doing a really nice job creating offense so far. Jamal Crawford showing his ability to both create shots for his teammates as well as for himself as we get the board. Throw it ahead. Yes, sir. Swing it over to Jamal. Pump fake, and his CPU is gonna get him up. Make up. That's tough, man. Good D. We got to get the stop anyway. We got to get the stop. Good defense. Yes, sir. Okay. Get a hand up. Okay, Jamal. I see you. Good. That's a terrible shot by him, but we'll take it anyway. Throw it ahead. Jamal Crawford. Go up. Show me that ability. He lays it in. I would like to see a dunk there, but you know what? It's a standing lamp. We'll take it. Good block, D-Rob. Good D, D-Rob. Yes, sir, baby. Throw it ahead to Jamal. Let's go. Come on, push. Pro three me. You're open. I meant to I meant to peek. I didn't I messed up the peek, but he still knocked it down. Easy green light. He's got takeover as well. Let's go. Uh sharp shot creating takeover isn't really one of the best takeovers in the game, I don't think. You're probably gonna want to put a shoe on him to see if you can change that takeover if possible. We get a nice steal though with Giannis as well. Let's go. Go get me a bucket. Crab me. Pull up. That's a terrible shot. I'm not gonna lie. Another steal for D-Rob. Yes, sir. Throw it ahead again. Oh yeah. See if we got a, we got the spin mid-range in him. We got the spin mid-range in the back. Look at Jamal Crawford going and getting a bucket. This card is tough. He is fun to use as well. And that's one of the best things about it. I think he's honestly going to be a really solid point guard option. It's be a terrible foul there. But like, he's super fun to use as well. You can do stuff like that that you're not going to be able to do successfully with a lot of PGs. And Jamal Crawford can do it for you as we get ourselves a nice quit. Let's hop back into the main menu and review this Jamal Crawford card. All right, in conclusion, Jamal Crawford is a beast. This card is really, really good um, on offense, especially. He is going to be an elite offensive card, but if you badge him out and give him that Clemson Interceptor badge, he's really going to be able to hold it down at a solid level defensively. Not going to be an elite defender, but as a guy who's going to guard that secondary or tertiary ball handler, he is six foot five. He's got a decent player build, and he should be able to play enough defense to get you some stops and uh, basically not make him a liability in the court. He's not going to be a liability defensively the way that guys like Damian Lillard, Steve Francis, John Morant are. And for that reason, I think he's better than those guys i really think this card is a top five point guard in my team uh, i don't think he's quite going to be on the level of the magics the pennies the gary paytons but i think right below that is right where this jamal crawford card is he's super fun a card i am definitely going to keep in my collection and have some fun with and use because he is going to be a really really fun point guard option but also a really good one one you can run in a competitive setting and have a lot of success with for a decent price so hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe and i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon I appreciate y'all. Peace.